Hello there. Here is a video on a scripting routine which will cop, uh, which will create a full-size map in a matter of minutes. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. I'm just going to create a map here, and you can see I just uh, create or click a map, and then I have a. This is a regular small-size map, and I'm in the far corner right now of this map. Um, and the new the uh, map grids now line up at negative uh, 80 negative 80 and they're all going to line up on that grid so this is going to be a full size 2048 by 2048 blocks um, map and so I've got a full size I got two full size maps and I'm going to put one on this item frame and this scripted block, or this block behind here, is actually a scripted block. And uh, when I click on it, it stores that item frame. Well, actually, it stores the map in the item frame in a uh, variable. And over here, I've got another scripted block. And these are locations. And I'm I'm just clicking on. It just shows me which side I'm clicking on right now. So. Um, one other thing here is if I attack with um, when I set the attack with the map it will start it but if I attack with the wool it will set a block and a map and that what that does is that will put a green location marker on the map and it will also set one of the teleport locations on this other scripted block as you can see right here that's uh, number one number two doesn't do anything but number one will teleport me exactly right to that map so let's get started here and uh, we will uh, what I when I start I'm going to go over here to about 30 blocks from the corner diagonally so both to the uh, that would be the north and the west and uh, then it's going to teleport me over 130 blocks and uh, when I I'll get up in the air and it'll teleport me over 130 blocks at 100 in the uh, elevation um, and this is set at uh, 200 ticks so it, it gives me plenty of time to look around um, I can do it faster, and at the end of this video, I'll show you how um, how fast you can do it. I'll have kind of a summary of different uh, speeds. So right now, as you can see, I got plenty of room to look around. If there's something that looks interesting, I can set a, a location with the wool block. And now I'm going to speed it up here a little bit video because this took at 200 ticks it took well over a half hour I can't remember how long exactly uh, there's an interesting little cave there in that desert and I'm going to set a block there and then we're going to speed up the video again and yeah and you can see on the mini on the map in, in my offhand uh, you can see the location there that I set and I'll set 12 of them here we will fast forward through this and There's another interesting little village there. Um, there are, uh, I also uh, run across a underwater, I don't know, what do they call them? Underwater palace or something like that. And there's a couple desert temples and desert fountains that I found interesting. Um, this is, uh, there's a, yeah, there's one of those desert fountains there. Desert Springs. Not sure what they're called exactly. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, it took a took uh, what was it? Almost two Minecraft days. I don't know. That must be like forty minutes or something like that. Um, the sun's going down. Um, So and and at the beginning I had a start time and an end time and uh, that's how I did some tests. I changed the tick rate also, and I'll show you that here uh, at the end, the last third of the video. I got kind of a summary and there I'm at the end and I can teleport back here with my mini map and 
And as you can see here, if I click on number 12, that will teleport me right up to the top there. Uh, and there I saw a desert temple. So when I was uh, floating above there. So there's the desert temple. And you can see me moving in the map there. Teleport back. And let's go to the other location, the second last, well, let's go to the number eight. And that's kind of to the, um, let's see, I'm in the lower right, or right from the middle towards down a little bit, as you can see. And there was an underwater light glowing there, so I put that as a location to check out. So there's a couple locations. Uh, just teleport back. So it's a way you could really crank out some maps for your um, adventures and uh, different way of uh, marking locations that you want to get back to. Now these, this guy right here, he records all the uh, the X and the Z coordinates. Uh, well, he doesn't record them, he just tells me what they are. They're stored in a variable. And that's how that uh, scripted block gets there and then this one is a copy of it also so let's get to the summary okay now here's a summary of my copy map routine and uh, actually I was in uh, survival here for a little while and I uh, had a little creeper explosion and uh, he just about took out everything here but uh, I ran this a couple different times at uh, different speeds now when I was doing it in the example earlier it was uh, 200 ticks and that gave me plenty of time to look around and see what was going on and if I wanted to set a block at a particular position so this is the original um, I tried it at one tick and this is what it, it's uh, as you can see it's a little choppy um, I tried it at five ticks also and it was it was better but still not great uh, but you can see I did it in less than 30 seconds in one tick. Cover that whole map, and I don't have necessarily a gaming computer. Um, uh, now then, at 10 ticks, it uh, intervals at uh, skipping around the map. Uh, it did it in almost exactly two and a half minutes. Uh, and there's just a couple little spots here and there that missed and uh, it could have been something I, I could have gone out uh, and just uh, opened up something else and while this was running or something and that could have caused these little blips here and there I'm not sure but uh, at 20 ticks it uh, it took under five minutes and uh, it, it looks perfect so you could probably try 15 ticks and it would be around three something, three minutes, maybe three and a quarter, um, depending on, I suppose, the computer, the your speed of your computer and whatever. So maybe you guys out there could uh, try it out and see if you can get uh, better maps, better, uh, better time. So that's it. Um, I'll show you the uh, the routine here. Well, I can show you it in uh, Notepad. It's uh, 40, 200, so it's like 70 some lines of code. It's not too big. Um, if I have a filled map and I, I attack, um, it will start the routine, and that's run by a timer which sets on true. Um, and that just moves me around the map 130. I could probably have optimized it at 128 because that's that goes into the uh, map dimensions uh, evenly, but uh, for some reason I didn't do that. And uh, but this works fine. I mean, it's it's you're basically going around 16 times, uh, 16 across, 16 up and down, um, and 128 would be about the same. I usually start, like I said earlier, about. 30 some from the lower corner which is at uh, n it's at negative 80 here and it's offset um, the maps are all offset like that around um, uh, 
on that grid there. Uh, I should be. Let's see. There I am. Okay. 82, 81. Yeah, so I'm going to fall in the hole here. <laughs> um, so that's uh, that's copy map, and uh, if you need a quick way to generate maps in your world and maybe find some interesting points, uh, that would be the way to do it. Thanks for watching.